Kind of a mixture of three pieces of news with this. The Sony 16 to 35 F2.8 G Master lens, the A7 Mark III series, and the Zeiss Battis 135mm, potentially f2.8, potentially f2 lens that we've been hearing so much about. So trusted sources are suggesting that in April we will get a big event from Sony and that, that event will contain the A7 Mark III and the 16 to 35 f2.8 G Master lens. That 16 to 35 is one that I'm very eagerly anticipating because the 24 to 70, the 70 to 200 are both optically superb. They both take great advantage of the in-body image stabilization that Sony A7 Mark II cameras and the Alpha 6500 camera utilize. I wish they had OSS as well because that dual stabilization would just be so much better, much like we're seeing on Olympus and Panasonic right now. I think that would be ideal. I don't think we can expect it. That might be a little bit too much to ask, but I believe that in April, in my opinion, we should expect mid to late April because we've been expecting for quite a while now something, you know, very soon to happen with this announcement and it's kept on getting pushed back so I'd anticipate it being pushed back a little further into April than just the beginning of April but that's just my opinion. Um, the other piece is on the Zeiss Battis 135mm f2.8. So this lens is it's rumored to be 135mm and it's rumored to be f2.8. If it's f2 I think that will help it uh, compete a little bit better with Sigma's recently announced 135 f1.8. I think what a lot of people have talked to me about about this lens has been the the, the form factor of the baddest series of Zeiss lenses being especially compatible and attractive for A7 users because they are small, they are light, and they do have incredible optical performance which means that it kind of fits that design ideology that Sony's been going for with those A7 cameras and I can really understand the value of that. Now, if it is f2.8 as opposed to f1.8, my bias will always be to go with the f1.8 that Sigma's offering, even if it means an adapter, just because more light is better light in my opinion. And that size and weight is a trade-off that I'm willing to make for more light. You might be different. I would very much appreciate if you could help me understand why in the comments below. But I, I also understand the native versus non-native argument. I think Sigma is doing a great job with, with their lenses and with their adapter. For me, I think that is a good enough reason, but that, that might not be for you. So I want to absolutely respect your opinion on that. But uh, we, should, we should anticipate the baddest 135mm f2.8 to be released for pre-order in late March. We're anticipating getting uh, some more news on that in two to three weeks, and so I'm really looking forward to hearing more from uh, Zeiss about that, and I think that it could be a really exciting lens to get my hands on, to rent, to just kind of play around with, and I think that a lot of people are really excited about this Zeiss Battis lens. So thank you very much for your time and for your attention. If I've added value through this content to you, please don't hesitate to share this video. That would mean the absolute world to me. Um, I very much appreciate it whenever y'all engage with this content, be it liking or commenting, and I so appreciate those of you who choose to subscribe. So thank you very much for your time and for your attention, and I'll see you in the next one.